Just lower your standards, that's all I'm saying. I used to want like, you know, the whole package, like he's got a job, he's nice to his family. Now I just want someone who takes direction well. That's all I want. I met my boyfriend in community college, actually, which is a little weird, a little bittersweet finding someone in community college, because uh, finding someone in community college is sort of like finding a full bag of chips in the garbage. <laughs> No, like, it's kind of a miracle, but hey, look around, you're still a possum. So. I'm not good at dating at all. Like, I'm too defensive. Last week, my boyfriend told me I was hard to read. I'm like, huh, maybe you're dyslexic. He told me I had that girl next door look going. Girl next door, that's not a compliment, ladies. Girl next door, you know what girl next door says to me? Conveniently located. That's what that says. He's like, no, 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 you're just real approachable looking. Cause that's what we want to get approached. That's why we have mace in our purse. You have never heard a dude talking to his buddies like, oh man, did you see Jason's new girlfriend? Oh, girl is approachable. Never. It's never been a thing. I'm afraid of commitment. Commitment's a scary thing. They tell you you're not, on the first date, you're not supposed to go to like lunch or dinner or anything because you can't get out of that quickly. You're supposed to go to drinks or coffee, right? I take it one step further. First date, we just put gas in my car. That's <laughs> all we do. Second date, maybe we hit a Goodwill. Third date, time to see you eat something. We just go to Costco and sample stuff. My best friend's gorgeous, she's great at dating, she's adorable. She's one of those cute girls, you know? She wears polka dots on the first date, she stands in ballet positions, she's never peed in the ocean. <laughs> Meanwhile, I kind of stand like a construction worker on break. <laughs> I eat bagels in my sleep, just like, how did all this cream cheese get here again? <laughs> Sometimes I go to the ocean to pee. She shops at Victoria's Secret, says her makes her feel super pretty. I don't get that at all. No, it makes me feel super pretty? Googling plastic surgery disasters. <laughs> so it makes me feel good. But she walks into Victoria's Secret, she's like, I'm home. I get in there, I feel like a mutant, you guys. I get less and less attracted. I turn into Quasimodo, people. I develop a lamp, my back hunches over. I lose the concept of speech, it's like, oh. All these models are looking at me like, you're not gonna wear our yoga pants. I'm like, you're right. Oh, sorry, I'm leaving. All the way back to Old Navy. Where that creepy mannequin family's up front, like, welcome back, potato face. Thank you very much, I'm Taylor Thompson, Taylor's your night.